Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing why I am cancelling my lines of credit and why that is potentially a good thing for me based in the UK, but it could be a bad thing if you're based in the US. Um, and also as well, I will be discussing a blog post I found which details it um, as much as possible. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, back to the video. So I found a really good blog post which details the difference between credit score calculation, credit ratings between the UK and the US. So link in the description, please check it out. Um, and it's interesting to see that even though there are the same credit agencies, you have Experian and Equifax and so on, who do the calculation, that's it. They said that's where the similarities between the UK and US nearly end, is because while they are doing the calculation, is they have a different focus, let's say. So for me in the UK, having a lot of credit is not actually technically a good thing because lenders might look at that like, you need a lot of credit. Why are you seeking credit so much? What's going on? Whereas in the US, it could actually be seen as a good thing to have a lot of credit and then just not use it. So I believe there is a term called credit card churning in the US, which is kind of like get lots of credit cards, use all of their introductory offers, do the minimum transactions on each credit card, do the minimum payments, they'll build your credit and so on and keep your accounts alive as long as possible. But in the UK, it's not necessarily... Uh, a good thing to do that now it's bad in both the us and the uk if you constantly open and close accounts so that's a constant that is actually a bad thing for both but i've only got one credit which is with paypal at the moment and i only got it so that i could get upgrades for my computer but i ended up in a trap because the computer was rather expensive and then it took me many 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 months to clear it the only reason I was able to avoid paying any interest on it was because of what's happening, you know, the pandemic in the world right now. So they froze all the interest. But if they hadn't frozen in the interest, I would have paid a lot. So what I'm going to do for, for the future, now that I'm debt free, is uh, I'm going to cancel my one and only credit, which is PayPal credit, um, keep it completely blank and empty. And by it being cancelled, it means that I can't ever accidentally or be tempted to spend on it. As simple as that. Because when you see that, oh, you know, I could spend this much money and wait till later to pay it, it is so tempting to do that. But I would like to live my life in a way where I just buy things I can afford. And even all the upgrades I bought recently, which I discussed in my other video, I bought directly. I paid for. I didn't buy any of them on credit. I bought them outright. So, and it's great knowing that. It's great knowing that everything I have, my computer, my PlayStation 5, my phone, all of it is all paid for. So I don't owe anyone any money. So, and later in the future, I'll probably be discussing the importance of insurance, <laughs> as simple as that, um, on your products. But going back to the topic of this video, um, like I said, please read the blog post if you're interested to see the difference between the US and the UK in terms of credit calculation. I understand that for the US it is completely different so please check it out that it could actually be a good thing to have a lot of credit and not use it in the US versus in the UK where it could actually be considered a bad thing so um, it's interesting to see the the difference between the two and to understand the motivation of the lenders and so on and from what I could see as well uh, both countries do not take into account your utility and bills so much when doing your credit course uh, cal calculation um, but I wonder if the author was making an argument of whether there should be. But I think that's a topic for another day. So that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm cancelling my one and only credit, which is with PayPal. Um, so I will be living a credit-free life, at least for now. In the future, the only credit, if you want to call it a credit, that I'm planning to ever get would potentially be a mortgage uh, for a house. And... Looking at my score at the moment, um, if I have a very clean and clear um, financial credit history, which has got no um, high utilization, um, no mispayments, no uh, problems whatsoever for at least two years, then it will push my score as high as it possibly can go. Simple as that. 
whereas in the US it could potentially be different. But like I said, as with all my videos, I am not a financial advisor, I am not an accountant, I'm not accredited in any way. All of what I'm saying is based on experience only. So uh, if you want to understand this topic more, please like go to the appropriate places, go to an accountant, like understand the differences between the two. And location in this situation does matter a huge amount. So some some of you might have clicked this video thinking, hang on a minute, is that a good thing? But remember, I am based in the UK. So things are different here. Rules are different here. So and it is interesting to understand the difference between the UK and the US, because the reason I bring it up is because most of my audience, probably like three quarters of my audience are actually from the US. So versus the rest of the world for the rest of my viewers. And thank you for supporting the channel. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making these videos and I'm exploring this, this topic of personal finance. So uh, please, if you have any suggestions for content you would like to see, please let me know in those comments down below. Anyway, guys, I've linked two other videos to this video. This channel is focused on personal finance. I cleared my debt. I am a lot happier and please check out my how to make a plan video as I feel it might have a positive impact on everyone's life who watches of, of that video.